good morning. It's Spike. And never guess where I am. <laughs> On the water, of course. And uh, this is going to be my second installment of the Answer the Challenge series I've set up. Just to start uh, talking to the world a little bit about, you know, my life and my purpose and my practice and my mission on this world to just uh, be of service to the boating community and especially the water. And what I wanted to talk to you today about is a thousand hands, one thousand hands. Now, what do I mean by one thousand hands is anything you look at, right? Be it a boat, this dock, that lumber, this rope, this lifesaver, that ladder, my truck, that barbecue over there. All the different parts and elements that came from an initial resource, whether it be natural or manufactured, there is a supply chain that provides the parts to assemble these things, like a, a bicycle. How many parts are there to a bicycle? How many hands it took to produce this bicycle? You don't just get it at the shop and it's like good to go, you know? The pedals, the seat. The baggage tray, the spokes, the chain, the grease on the train, the bell, the wires, you know, a thousand hands it took to get that from the earth, manufacture it, deliver it, package it, sell it, you get it, maybe it goes, gets sold, gets replaced, gets into another person's hands, but just to see that thing there, tied to that post there lets me know that there is way more than a thousand hands to make that happen. And why is that important to entrepreneurship and my business and my life and my purpose and my passion of being on the water every day is because I had a conversation not too long ago um, with a crew member that decided that they would be independent. They would garner offers from other companies for many, many different reasons that were all that person's own um, really took away from the idea that you know we're a team right our hands our many hands making light work our many minds making big ideas happen this is what I'm concerned about right now and trying to find a way through and if you know a way to put an I in team please let me know in the comment section and while you're down there, give us a like and a subscribe like the YouTuber folks do. But for us, it was really, really evident that we had a problem. You know, there was a problem. There, there started to be a lot of issues with not just showing up and working hard, but actually caring for each other. You know, showing up for each other, being a part of the solution, being a part of a team that is able to do big things um, means many hands working together, you know, collaborative intelligence. That's what we rock on here out on the water to be able to accomplish the very, very large tasks that we do. And as I lay here in the rain right now, pumping out my boat, you know, that it's full of water. I was here on Sunday trying to go out for a out for a rip on Sunday night with some friends and the battery was dead. Why and what for? I haven't figured that out yet. But the bilge pump stopped. The boat filled up with water and it's just pumping, pumping, pumping now. You know, thank goodness I've got friends over here at the marina that had a trash pump and a battery good to go. So I'm able to throw this water and put my uh, battery charger on and then hopefully once the rain stops and I don't mind if it does or it doesn't the crew they're working away those many hands are working over there while I'm here alone working here and together we're making our resource base stronger and delivering the services that we promised but there are some people that are not present this week weren't willing to make a commitment to be a part of the team and show up for all the beautiful reasons that we show up on the water and for me i love the water i love just being here it's not work for me it's very much play but there's no ifs ands or buts about it that it is a business that must operate and there are many many different elements that require 
commitments made, responsibility taken, transparency on many, many, many different um, issues and elements of delivering a great service, like the, the tools and materials and, you know, where to get them and, and how to make sure that we have them by the time we get down to the boat so we're not running, down, running back to the depot to uh, restock and live in traffic and, you know, be overwhelmed with traffic in Toronto is very, very easy to do because Toronto sucks. Hey, Jay. Hey. Hey. Lovely day in the rain, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad you had that pump for me, Lovely man. Lovely day to play with boats. Yeah. It's, it's, every day is a good day on the boats. <laughs> So that's Buddy Jay, the one that lent me the, the pump there to get her done. And yeah, there's very few people out on the docks right now. But I'm just glad that I have the opportunity to come here every day. Every day, this is my office. We work so they can play, you know. But when we get down to brass tacks, I really look forward to developing a team in the future that always understands that we are a part of something much, much bigger than us alone. You know, this company, this vision, this purpose is much greater than you or I alone. Together we are stronger. Together we're producing something that will last for generations and generations. A level of service, a level of collaborative intelligence, a level of awareness that what is happening out here is the responsibility of many, 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 many people to keep it going, you know? Like all these boats right now, they're all basically floating patios, you know? Some of them are good to go, but many of them need help. They need people to show up and not just make them beautiful like we do, but to do the mechanics, to repair the canvas, to update the electronics, to do the oil changes, to, you know, fix the air conditioning, fix the sink, fix the fridge, you know, replace a piece of glass, uh, replace the mattresses, you know, extricate a raccoon, you know, all these things happen. And many of these folks out here are all alone with their beautiful boat and don't really have somebody to call on. And, you know, I, I'm trying to develop a culture. I have developed a culture over years and years of years of being here on the water that is about the team, you know? We show up together, we get her done together. Many hands make light work. And I hope in your life that you have a look around yourself and realize that you're not alone ever, 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 ever. If you live in a house, own a house, rent a house, you know, stay in a hotel, fly on a plane, drive a car, you know, there's a thousand hands that made that moment possible for you. Yeah, Cookie's happy. Yeah. It's it. Yeah, the coo who usually shows up in our videos, she's around the corner making friends because they got treats. But, um, you know, another resource that we have to distribute or not choose choose or not choose everyone's got to make a choice eh? to recognize that we're not alone every action has an equal um reaction you know you can't put, push a rock and think that it didn't impact the dirt you know what i mean let me know in the comments if you get what i'm putting down is we're all in this together we're on this planet on this rock floating through space, all heading in the same direction, at the same speed, at the same time, to who knows where. Who knows where. There's a great attractor out there. But I guess I just want to wrap up this video by saying um, I care a lot about getting her done, but I care more about sharing this space, sharing this opportunity, sharing this environment rain or shine with many 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 of you and that's the reason i'm making these videos to show you that there is a life on the water every day and there's something for you to do out here today 
if you choose it, you can be on the water too. So follow us online at Spike on the Water. That's my personal Instagram. You can check out our website. I'll put a link below. We beautify boats. And I look forward to seeing you all on the water someday, knowing that you too can be a part of something greater than yourself. You know, there's a lot of people out here need love, need help. There's a lot of people out here need love. And it could be simple as turning a wrench or sewing a stitch or pushing some soap around like I do. You know, you're all welcome on the water every day. We work so they can play. We'll see you on the water, eh?